Hey guys, welcome to a brief video on how to install 32 GB RAM in the Dell G7. Now, onto the critical elements you will require for the build. First and foremost is the crucial 32 GB memory kit. I will provide a link in the description to the exact module you will need to buy, as the Dell G7 is incompatible with many DDR4 modules. Second is the tools. You will need a nice clean worktop, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and as an optional element, an anti-static wristband, just for precaution so as not to damage any electronics. Here we have the 32 GB DDR4 Crucial RAM Kit and as mentioned earlier it is critical to make the correct selection when choosing which upgrade modules to buy as the Dell G7 motherboard is very restricted to the kinds of modules it accepts. Also buying the RAM as a kit ensures the modules are matched perfectly and that conflicts within the system will be less likely once installed. The Dell G7 is known for its rather simple disassembly requiring only one screw to open. That said, be careful with the clips holding the cover in place as they are not only tough to unlock but also fragile. Try using a plastic tool if you have access to one. Once open, you can begin to remove the old RAM modules plugged into the motherboard. To unfasten the modules, push outward against the metal tabs holding the modules in place. The RAM sticks should pop upwards, allowing you to slide them out of the socket. With that complete, you may proceed to install the 32GB kit into your laptop. This kit contains two matched 16GB sticks. Take note of the logo sticker on the module as this side should face towards you as you install. Slide the RAM into the slot at an angle and once secure, push down from the top center of the chip until it locks into place. Do the same for the other side as well.
The Dell G7 cover is now ready to be put back in place. Start by securing the tabs, starting with the side opposite the screw. As mentioned earlier, be careful when repositioning the tabs as they are known to be fragile, especially the ones closest to the single screw. Once all this is done, you are now ready to flip the laptop over and test it. Once you power on the machine, you should get an on-screen message that the amount of system memory has changed. To confirm this, go into BIOS Setup using the button on the bottom right. This will take you to the BIOS page, where you should be able to confirm the full 32GB memory running in dual channel. Press exit and restart the machine to continue. Now, the next few steps were a little bit of a painstaking process. The Dell G7 got stuck on the logo screen and after three restarts, automatically opened Support Assist System Scan tool. Everything was checked and seemed to be healthy, so I wasn't sure why the laptop had to go through this check. Also, be prepared for the extremely loud beep that you hear at the end of the test. Don't say I didn't warn you. The final check the machine goes through is the Support Assist OS Recovery, where it checks the health of the partition table, boot files and overall Windows health. This process takes about 5 to 10 minutes, so be prepared to wait a while. When the check is done, click Restart to boot the system and this time it should start up as normal. Once the system has booted up and you have logged in, go to your start menu, search for this PC and right click to select properties. This should bring up the system properties menu where you can confirm that Windows has indeed detected the freshly installed 32 GB RAM.
One last thing to note is the page file size, also known as virtual RAM. Normally, Windows dynamically allocates the swap space on the hard disk based on the amount of RAM installed. So with increased RAM comes an increased swap space requirement. So make sure you have enough space on your disk. As you can see here, Windows has allocated swap space of nearly 50 gig. So be sure to leave enough headroom for that. So that's it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions or comments, do feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I'll be more than happy to help.